Sometimes sadness is too sad to create art from, to create anything. I mean, I'm trying my best. Who records themselves in the middle of a panic attack and puts it on the internet? I guess me. I haven't been able to create in months. I don't know how to make anything out of this anymore. It's Victoria Rivers. Okay, it's literally been um, a month since I've filmed my own vlog. I, I, there's no adventures, there's no... Th it's an adventure of the mind. So I did the sliding scan, it took a while for me to get matched with a therapist. And today is the day that I'm going to go in and have my first therapy session. I don't... I'm really bad at being vulnerable and open, surprisingly. You guys, like, I do it to the camera, I upload it online, but in person, it's so much harder for me. I know it feels, I feel like I'm more in control of it, but whenever I'm like opening up to that person or something like that, it's very hard for me to do. I'm questioning everything these days. I don't know anything. I'm not vlogging today. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to tell you I'm going. This is it. This has got to be the last video of me being sad. I promise. Just let's move on. I went to therapy, by the way, a while ago. I ha I'm going again in a couple days. I didn't really update you guys on how it went because it was kind of the first session, so I feel like I don't have a good grasp on what it's truly like yet. So I'm going to go for uh, a second one. I've been doing a lot of things to try and help this, and hopefully we'll get through this. Um, it's just, it's weird because I'm like not in my home country. I miss filming. <laughs> I have no plan. I didn't plan this very well. I didn't plan it at all. This is not my plan. This was not the plan. This was never the plan. Trust me, I'm working really hard for this to be the last sad video. I want to be good again. I want to adventure. I don't know. I'm always just taking care of myself. I don't know. It's too abstract for me. I don't really know what to talk about. The first session, I just like word vomited everything that was wrong. And she's like, okay, there's a lot of directions we can go here. I feel like I need to like know what I'm supposed to talk about and know what problem I'm trying to fix, but I don't. I think it's important to treat yourself with little things. Coffee, a pastry. <laughs> occasionally, just occasionally. So why I haven't been filming for two months. I figured it was best to just focus. And also whenever you're down like this and boring. There's not a lot to film, honestly. That's why I haven't been filming. It's not the most glamorous life right now. I'm just so used to French being the first language now that people speak here. Merci. Cute. I guess I could give you a rundown of what's been up. I've been going to the gym, I've been talking to family and friends, I've been going to therapy. For those of you who have stuck around, I do have something up my sleeve that's coming up next. I just got done at this para gym that I'm trying to learn how to do like handstands and parkour and stuff at. So I do that with my sister. Therapy always makes me really, really tired. So got into some heavy stuff, mostly did all the talking again. So I don't really know what to say about it. I feel good, like it's a release. I'm gonna keep going and see what happens. Um, update, I'm still here. Day 50 something, still going through it. Temperature mm, ranging between seven to 32 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in Celsius. Sun, sunshine, what's that? <laughs> Vitamins, vitamin D, I've been taking that. I try to get out every day, go for a walk, go get coffee, go do something, 
so I don't just sit with myself too much because that can be dangerous to do. I hang out with my sister. I still do try to do photo shoots. I try to contact brands for collaborations and I try to get personal training clients so I can make some money. I also have to plan out my life. My sister's not going to be here much longer and I have to leave. Where am I going to go? Well, you have to wait and see. Because uh, it's all up in the air. Many of you subscribe because you want solo traveler female adventures. And trust me, that's what you're going to get. And that's what you can expect coming up again. Because this is... I'm doing this alone. You know? I'm going to be very alone, and that's okay. Even as I record this now, things are getting better. I'm coming out of this. I will be stronger. I have learned so much. I had my fourth therapy session yesterday. Um, so I've officially been going to therapy for a month now. I've been here in Canada about a couple of months and I haven't really been filming. I've just been trying my best to face everything and not run and it's been hell. And it's, I think it's everything accumulated, but it's, it's one major thing, but then it's everything else as well. So it's really fun. <laughs> Forcing yourself to do everything becomes exhausting. I could force myself to do things before because, you know, I wasn't severely depressed, but now that I'm facing everything, I've become really depressed. I'm not trying to complain or anything. This is my therapy journey. So this is kind of my therapy diary. I've also been journaling too. I, I know it gets worse before it gets better. So I was kind of prepared. No, not really. I <laughs> wasn't prepared for this. I'm hoping um, to adventure again soon. Please, guys, I know some of you are like, these vlogs are getting really depressive and boring, but I literally can't adventure right now. I don't have the money and I don't have the mental health to do so. I'm going to go back out. I'm just getting well before I do, so it, what happened last time doesn't happen again. So my sister's gonna come over. I think she sensed I'm kind of sad again. Oh gosh, fall apart with that, it's really pathetic. I don't know, can we be real and say we're pathetic here? Time goes so fast whenever you're literally doing nothing. <laughs> uh, month two or three, I don't know. It's time to end this vlog. This has been a two month long vlog and um, this is all I've filmed. So technically I guess I did film a little bit like throughout this two month thing to make this video. I've been going to therapy for two months. I've been doing all this. I've been facing things for two months without filming, without distract distractions. I've been sitting in my feelings. I've been feeling them. I've been trying my best to do this the right way. Only speak to people who are close to me and love me. I, I don't really hang out with people. I haven't really hung out with a lot of people except for some of my, I've been personally, personal training people. Aside from like them and my family and stuff, like I don't really, associate, I haven't associated with people. So no outside distractions, just um. It, we're, we've gotten to a point in therapy now where she's able to offer me more insight because she knows me better now. She knows the situation. She knows she's been through what I've been going through with me and she's just offered insights that I would never have think, thought of before. Like, for example, just one thing, like I'm addicted to feelings and because I am not as in tune with my emotional feelings, I get addicted to situations or people that are that make me feel the most, whether it's negative or positive, it doesn't matter. Whoever makes me feel the most, I get addicted and obsessed with that because that it's that feeling, but I need to have only the good feelings and not poison myself just because I'm yearning for feelings. So like, um, that's why I do a, a lot of the things that I do in life, it's searching for that feeling alive. And sometimes I'm not really easily impressed with life. I'm kind of a critical person. I'm just kind of neutral a lot and um, whenever I find something that really makes me feel, I latch on and I'm like, I'm not letting you go. <laughs> and that's unhealthy. That's just one thing out of a lot of things that I, I've never really thought about, about myself or about things in my past or like why I'm doing what I'm doing for my childhood, you know, like boundaries. I don't, like setting boundaries for myself and setting boundaries for other people that are around me, you know, I have a hard time with that. There's some like seeing life as black and white, life is not black and white. 
there's a lot of things that you know it's probably boring for me to share but i've been learning a lot of things and i hope to continue to learn um you can't just learn things about yourself and then be like oh okay cool i have to actually improve on these things and now i just want to be able to go off my own again and make money and you know live a life <laughs> so i have to leave montreal my sister is um i'm gonna be leaving here too so i won't really have my family here anymore she's just, she's just the only one here and you know montreal was never kind of the end location so we have to we have to move on we have to keep going i'm mending and i'm healing we're gonna go solo again i'm terrified i'm terrified to be alone again i'm not in the best condition to do it i don't want to spend another month of rent here because rent's got going up in montreal and it's also getting closer to the warmer season so i don't want to spend another month getting a metro pass paying for rent just paying for everything because it's just pointless at this point because my sister's not even going to be here that much longer. I know where I'm going next. Leave some guesses where you think I'm going next in the comments. We have been facing our fears and we have been staying extraterrestrial through it all. Maybe it'll be nice to be a little more human. Stay human. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> I love you very much.